to the left center field gap and in. This will score at least two. Kruger comes in to score. Duran scores. Holding up at third is Trithal. And the two-run double by Ryan has UMBC on top. 2-0. The 0-1. Low, and it gets away from Sullivan. Coming in is Trithal, and he is safe. That one is fair. Tully chasing it down, and Diaz going to third. And he will round third coming home. Here's the play at the plate. The slide is in time for Diaz to get the fourth run of the game for UMBC on the RBI double by Justin Taylor. Trithal sends it to right field. Mason is there. This, though, should score Taylor. And it does, so UMBC on top, 5-0 on the sacrifice fly by Trithal. Out of the bullpen. To center, Haskell on the run and can't get it. Around to score is Duran and Trithal goes into second with the RBI double. Back up the middle, base hit, Trithal will round third. Haskell's throw, cut off by Aoki, and that RBI single makes it 7 to nothing. Five double play, last time up, swings at that one as the ball gets away from Sullivan. This will allow Ryan to come home. Haskell goes, Aoki to third. That is fair, a long throw to first. Dug out by Trithal. Lace to right field as Taylor will round third, come home. Here's the throw from Mason and not in time. So an RBI single for Tony Kruger, who is now four for four on the day, gives UMBC the nine to one lead. To third and through for the RBI single for Cilio. That scores Roberts and makes it 10 to one. B.I. here this afternoon. Lifts this one to the left center field gap. Haskell back looking up and it's gone. Home run for Taylor, his second in two games. And now it is a 12 to two UMBC lead for Justin Taylor, his fifth home run of the season to lead the Retrievers. Trithal didn't exactly track it off the bat, but did exactly what he needed to do.